In this demonstration, we will take a look at how to insert a rollover image into a Captivate project. Rollover images consist of an image and a rectangle called the hot area. When the user moves the mouse over a hot area in a published project, the image is displayed. Rollover images are commonly used in heavily detailed slides or for slides that contain buttons or toolbars that require explanation. You can use the same types of graphics for rollover images that you use for traditional images. You can also customize the location, outline, and size of the rollover area for rollover images. To add a rollover image, open an Adobe Captivate project and select the slide to which you want to add the image. To add a rollover image, click the Insert menu and then select the Rollover Image option. The Open dialog box appears. Browse to the image you want to add and then click the Open button to select it. Once you have selected an image, the image is displayed in the dialog box called New Rollover Image. You can use the settings within the dialog box to make adjustments to the image. The settings on the Rollover Image tab are the same as those used to modify a traditional image. To learn more about these settings, view the demonstration called Inserting an Image. The dialog box also contains the tabs for Options, Audio, and Size and Position. These options are set in the same manner as the text caption properties. For detailed information on how to use these options, view the demonstration called Creating a Text Caption. Once you have entered all the properties for the rollover image, click the OK button. The rollover image and the related hot area appear on the slides. You will most likely need to reposition the hot area and image to the desired location. Let's preview the slide to see how the rollover image works. When the user rolls their mouse pointer over the hot area in the slide, the image displays in the specified location. For more information on working with rollover images, consult the Captivate help system. This concludes the demonstration on inserting a rollover image into a Captivate project.